Afternoon people, this is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees, and this is Hive, oh, and it's Happy New Year, January 1st. It's about 67, 68 degrees out here. We have partly cloudy, sunshine, beautiful day. Beautiful day, the first day of the year. But anyway, uh, this is a triple deep 10 frame, and we're probably going to be doing a lot of work with it right now. So if y'all get tired of watching, just do like I do. I, I, I stop it and I come back to it later. But y'all leave us a comment, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Let other people know where we're at. And we're going to go in there now. Y'all want to see them down the bottom? Okay. There they are. They got their little hole off on the right of that stick. It's all closed up except that one little hole over there. It's about an inch, inch and a quarter wide. And they, they like it that way. But we're going to do this and we'll, we'll come back and make sure y'all can see what we're doing. There's the little girls. There's their food. This may be one that was cold too that day. When I last checked it, because it don't look all that healthy about this minute. That'll be. Take their sugar off. Bees under there eating. Okay, there's some stuff up here, not a whole lot. We're going to take this, we're going to attempt to take this box off, put over there without putting them in another box first. Doesn't appear to be heavy. Nope. We don't know exactly where the queen is at. Only eight frames in this one. And they're coming out like these. Taking the sun's going down. He covers them up. These here are just some stuff that I got from uh, Goodwill thrift store, and I cut them up. Uh, curtains. That's what they call curtains. Okay, where are we going to start? Let's look at that one first. See what we got in there. Okay. We have brood up here and eggs. We won't worry about it too much. We just leave it where it is. Because that's where the queen will be. Even if she's not up there now. It's not like one of these other ones here. We couldn't find a queen. But we knew where the brood was at. We put the brood and the eggs and the larvae in the top box to keep them warm. It's got a little bit of honey on it. Looking good. Put it over here, see if we can keep it safe. This one here. Put 
Good brood frame, nothing on it. A couple of bees walking around. That's it. Which would be a good one to have in the top so the queen could lay in it. But I don't think she, she may be up here. I may have, she may have left. This one is a good frame to be in the top. It's got some honey. It's got some nectar. And that's about it. Good frame to put in the top. People think, well, bees will go up to eat because it's warmer up there. Yeah, they, they're not going to leave a cluster to go and eat when they're going to freeze on the way or on the way back. The way I do it, I put my sugar up there and the bees can rotate. The bees can rotate and feed themselves, keep everybody warm. When it warms up like it is today, see, they can go out and fly around, do what they want to do. They want to eat up some of their sugar, they can do that. They want to eat some of their honey, they can do that. That's pollen there. This one here has a little honey on it. But it turned real cold before I could get a whole lot done. Has a little honey on both sides. Get some of the propolis off. Good honey on this one. See, later in the spring, when I start making splits, I'll take this honey here and put it in the splits so they got a good start. So here's got some nectar. That would be a good one to put at the top. That way they can eat their nectar and make room for the queen when it warms up. And save the honey for when they need it. Or for me when I go get it. But you don't have a queen up here. You have no brood up here. We're going to kind of do this one like we did the last one. This one here, this one here doesn't have anything on it, either side. I mean, other than just the bees. This next one here has honey on it. So now that one, that one would be okay to put up with the queen too. We're going to go through these other boxes and see what they've got. Got a little repair here to do the bees like going in and out of there. So this one got a little bit of honey. They're very productive bees. They've got something to work with. This one here is another good one. Good brood train. I've had people ask me too about these on the ends here. That's marked. Some are yellow, some are white, some are blue, some are red. That's the Year, the bees have different colors of years. That's a. We could leave that one up there. But each each year, bee has a certain color, so we can tell how old their bees are. 
or I do anyway, that well. It's a national color, it's just that some people don't use them. And I do. Uh, but the white one is a is when I did that one when the queen was supposed to be marked white and this one was yellowed last year. No, that's this year. The whites this one doesn't have any reds or blues in it. Let's take this honey back in here on this side until. You put the cloth on it, does a couple of things. It makes it calmer. Makes them calmer. It slows down on the routing and the excitement. We're gonna put it up here so we all can see what's going on. This one now. If y'all like me the video down in a different way, you let me know. Like I said, this one's only got eight frames. really know where the queen is at. We'll find her. And we can take this. <laughs> take this box and sit here. So we can split them up a little bit. This one. Got a lot of bees. Sun is going down. It has nectar. It has nectar on it. That's about it. Now this, this box here is the nuke box that I split and made two, two frame queen castles out of it, or mating nukes or whatever you want to call it. This one has brood. Larvae on there, so that's where the queen went. So we're going to put that at the top. We're going to put it right here in the middle. Well, we can get another one of these. Let's get one of these out. Take it out and stick it over here too. We want the root in the middle. This, one. this is a good frame here. That we'll put back in there, probably. This one. Mm. has brood on it and larvae it may have the queen but I'm not going to worry about the queen because the queen will come back up to wherever the brood is at this one I 
and we're going to do this, put the queen in the top, and I'll probably be back in a couple of days to, uh, there's the queen, little unmarked queen, right there. What are you going to do with it, sir? Moved around a little bit. We have a visitor that I have no idea who it is. They don't want to get out the truck, so I'm not going to holler at him either. This one here. It's food, and it was close, so it may have eggs in it. We'll put it right there. Can I help you with some? You got what? Just a second. Yep, don't go up to the house where the dog is at. something for my wife, I guess.
get to people. Y'all have a good one. Give us a comment, thumbs up, share, subscribe, tell others. Be happy.